thousand BC. I think it was like twenty three thirty seven or something like that. That the emperor of China actually was prescribing cannabis tea to re to relieve a bunch of ailments like gout, um, arthritis pain. Um, I can't remember the other one. It, it's been used a long, long time as one of the pain anti-inflammatory. Cannabis is made up of compounds called cannabinoids. That's what it is. It's exclusively found in cannabis. The National Cancer Institute has a definition of cannabinoids as a 21 carbon containing cannabinoids. I had someone trying to explain how to say that word. I couldn't say it. I'm sorry. But that is uniquely found in. Have a variety of effects on the brain and on the body. Like the most profound cannabinoid is CBD or cannabidiol, and it is a non psychoactive compound pattern of cannabis that has, in recent years, been found to have an anti inflammatory effect on. So, like receptors in the brain, so that like when you have it, you have that pain receptor going off and that anti-inflammatory part of your brain. It sends like I think it's serotonin and dopamine and it pleasures some of those chemicals, and then those hormones go down in your bloodstream to those receptors and block those pain that pain to go for a while. I think it's how long it is. I don't know. But that's how long it does. It's just. So, there is. It has. CB has also been in laboratory studies on. You know, they did on rats and they induced colon, the colon cancer gene into them and they got tumors and they would. They would inject the, the CB in there and it would kind of almost reduce the progression of that cancer and it wouldn't completely like eliminate it, but it would reduce that progression of it. It more like chemo kind of slows it down, just doesn't get rid of it. That's the mo the C B D is the most prominent compound in cannabis right now. It's up to about forty percent of the actual makeup of the of the flower, which is what you and that's what has the chemicals in it. Then you have the main one that everyone knows about is THC or tetrahydrocannabinol. And that is the psychoactive one that feeds that feeling of euphoria and relaxation. That one also, they have found out, helps eliminate the Not as much as the CBD, it's more of a, that one's more of a just kind of trying to relax you and kind of more of a mental, so much, like kind of get you out of touch with reality. In recent studies, they've seen that both the CBD and the THC has gone and stopped the damage from like I'm drinking alcohol. Like getting rid of the trash, pretty much. It helps save those brain cells, and by killing, by actually killing the what the damaged cells that were already kind of already destroyed a little bit, and they just kind of stop them there, and it kind of protects them. It like can't remember the name for. There's an actual scientific name for cell death, but it programs the cells that are already already damaged by the ethanol to not reproducing it and it just kind of shuts off. It also, like, it, like it says, the U.S. National Institute of Mental Health reported and registered the non psychoactive cannabinoid CBD into those cells and it 
it's not good. It doesn't need to be reversed anymore. And it actually saves up to about 60% of the remaining bills. Cannabis has also been shown to kind of slow, like a like cancer, slow the progression of neurodegenerative diseases like ALS, Parkinson's, and MS. It, when it stops the of the cells that are still good, that are not infected by the, the diseases, and it kind of limits to how much that progression of those already infected cells go on and are destroyed. So it, it, there was a, back in, I can't remember, it was like 2009, a grower in Colorado came up with a CBD dominant strain of cannabis for it. I remember her name, Charlotte, who was having, I think they were saying she had over 300 seizures a day, which is, it was from, I guess she had early signs of MS or something, I can't remember exactly. But she would ingest this CBD, the CBD dominant strain of cannabis, and it would reduce her seizures down to like one or two a day. So the Going from the 300 a day to the 200 a day is definitely a big, big difference. And mesothelioma, which is a very aggressive brain cancer that it has, they have started to see it stops the, the going on of those. Um, it is it gets in your brain and it really can't do much about it currently, other than. Thank you. 